What is up? BA3 back here today with another episode of our website programming series. Today I'm going to show you guys how to link a style sheet to your index page so that you don't have to have in your divs a bunch of style style equal equals quotes and put it all in there. It makes it a lot cleaner when you do it this way. So let's get rid of the image here. And what you're going to want to start by doing is in your head, put in open bracket, link space href equals quotes main.css space rel equals quotes style sheet end quote media equals quote screen and then close that off there you guys save that this is going to tell your index page that it's a style sheet the media is on the screen and your link is linking to your main.css in your website folder so we're going to make a new file and we're going to go file, save as, and we're going to want to make sure we save it in the website. And you're going to make it main.css. Save. And as you can see down in the corner, the font or the syntax rather changed to CSS. Now, when you're doing CSS, you link the index and the style in the CSS file by going into your div bracket and doing div class equals quote and since this is the first thing we'll make it nav for the navigation bar and you're gonna save this and then you're gonna go back into your main and you're gonna call it dot nav and then you're gonna do brackets squiggly brackets and this is telling you telling your index file where you have the div that the class navigation as defined in your CSS will have all of these styles so you can say uh, background color is we'll just say blue um, then you're going to close it off with a semicolon, or a colon rather, sorry. You put a semicolon over here. And if you want the color to be a hex, you put hashtag one, two, three, four, five, six. You want six, one, two, three, four, sorry, yeah, six digits. And then you no know, color, uh, whatever you want it to be. Uh, we'll just do green. If you spell it out, it's going to give you. Um, basically a relative color of green, blue, white, red, black, brown, whatever color you type in. And another thing you might have is width. You can put auto. That will automatically select your width, height. Height is how tall the box is or the uh, whatever you're putting as the nav um, height will make it uh, 300 px which is pixels close that uh, font font size is obviously your size of font uh, we'll do uh, 15 px and we'll just save this so now in our nav in our div that is defined by the class navigation um, we're just going to type in open bracket p close bracket for paragraph and just put hello world and close your paragraph so we're gonna save this and hopefully in here well, you're gonna right click it open with Google Chrome and as you can see hello world is green as we defined 
in our main where is it color represents the the color of the text and let's just make this box red and we'll make the width uh, 400 pixels so we're gonna save this go back and refresh and as you can see hello world is green or box is red 300 it's not 300 pixels but it's tall and 400 wide so if you want to on Chrome I don't know about other uh, uh, what's called other um, sorry I'm totally blanking out on other search engines uh, browsers holy crap sorry I don't know if this um, inspect element works but when you are on a web page if you right click right click and go down to inspect this will pop up on the bottom and this will allow you to look at your text and see if you have any errors so obviously right here the reason why our box is not 300 pixels tall is because I spelled height wrong so if we go back and add in the T save it and we refresh the page now you can see that the height is good and we have our box that is 400 by 300 and if you want to test different things before you actually do it and save it you can go into the div class nav and as you can see it says dot nav bracket and all the style that we have and the close bracket so if we want to make it uh, say 100% that will put it from the left to the right but you have to um, take into account the padding as you can see when we hover over it the div is only the red and the white around it is the padding the green right here so if we want to get that taken care of you can put a hundred percent then padding 0 px um, negative 8 px no sorry it's padding where'd it go All right. so and to get it to click uh, and type just click it and a new line will come up so padding left let's see 8 okay so as you can see on the left side of the screen right here when you have the padding set to zero you have the white bar but as you go down and increase the padding right when you hit eight it fully covers the whole screen so if we go then padding come on nope one there we go padding dash right you get let's see we'll start with zero and that does nothing for us and if we go in the negative right direction it doesn't do anything so if we go up that doesn't do anything either why is this not working well sometimes things don't like to work position absolute Let's see, is this gonna hmm. not sure why this isn't working. But I will uh, look into that and next episode will give you guys an answer. So now, since we only edited it in the uh, inspect menu, if we refresh the page, anything we did in here doesn't get saved. So if we want it to get saved, we have to go back into the main and change our width from 400 pixels to 100%. If you did 50%, it'd go halfway, you know, 80%, 80% of the way, and so on. Now, some people will ask, well, why can't, why is the text, why is the text not in the center of the box? All the way, it's all the way to the left. And some people will give you the answer saying, well, just do 
center like that and and center well this is not correct it works but it's not the correct way to center text so let's get rid of this and in our main.css in your nav it will allow you to center all your text if you do text text align center and save it now go back refresh and there you go your text is now in the center of your box that is defined with a background color of red and is 100 percent across the screen now if you want to center the text vertically from the top into the middle let's just go into our inspect and let's just make the font size a little larger so we can see it so we'll make it 30 so now padding top if we do 10 pixels obviously you can see that the bottom of the thing of the box starts to move down now if we do padding bottom and we do negative 80 pixels that does not help us uh, we have to why isn't this letting me do that that is not working oh. if we decrease the height I'm sorry decrease the height of the uh, box don't worry about the uh, don't worry about the bottom padding I'll take that out so if we take the padding on the top and push it down and then take the height of the box and decrease it you can see that the text is now in the center so let's make the font a little bigger and as you can see it moves down so to fix that just make your padding go the other way and you can do this with the arrows quickly on the keyboard or you can scroll with your scroll wheel so we're gonna add the height of 214 in our main so height 214 font size is 64 and we have padding top of 1 so 64 and lastly let's add padding top one pixel close it save refresh and what did I do oh I forgot to put a P save refresh and boom there you go that is how you start your styling styling in your main.css for your index so that the index is nice clean HTML text and all of your CSS text is in a separate document that is linked to your index. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope that you guys were able to take out something from this. In future episodes what I will be doing is adding a PayPal button, adding uh, social media buttons, things like that along those lines as we continue to build our website. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. All right, guys, I'm BA3. Peace.